we're continuing. Rachman al Islam, the Talmudian, did you have to talk about these things to them because they come from modern backgrounds and they make, but they think that certain things are problems which are no problems. We have to talk about it. The truth of the matter is, very few people <laughs> are are bothered by intellectual problems in our times. Somebody has a problem. How can you have Olamaz and Torah go together? You, you, you can still sleep good at night, even after having this problem. It doesn't bother so much that you can't sleep at night. It's all demyonus. And, 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 and I don't know why I'm even talking about this. It's, it, this is not our problem, but we don't have this problem, the chlal, about how to put together Torah and the modern world. But since it came to my hand, this article, and it was cooking in me, as so I'm talking about it, and it was misdamen that this article came to me in the week of Parshas Korach, and I see that you can explain it, can help us. Explain the Pradenian of Korach. Korach was a modern man. And he has questions on you, this guy. He didn't just accept Nevoah's Moshe, Torah's Moshe. He is. What do you need senses for if the beggar itself is Tchelos? Somebody asked me, what Korach's sign of the beggar itself is Tchelos? But you need senses. So I said, what do you mean? But Korach was tiny. That, uh, that you see from the fact that you need Tchelis, that Tchelis does something to a person's neshama. So, 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 so if, 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 if the, if the chutim of Tchelis does something to a person's neshama, so how can there be the beggar itself can't do that same thing that the chutim can do? Yes, no, so he was thinking on his own. But what kind of question is that? I mean, you, you don't know that, man. Who, who says that we understand how it works? Like somebody will say, you have such a big machine, like what I was just describing, that's as big as two refrigerators. And uh, and if it's not plugged into the wall, it's not going to work. One little plug, what's this little plug? The machine itself is is a hundred thousand times bigger than the plug. Without a guzma, without exaggerating, so the plug, that's when, yeah, the plug, the plug, that's what's going to do the whole thing. It has to be plugged in. If it won't be plugged in, nothing is going to happen. So what kind of question is that? What do you need to plug? Do you understand how it works? What are you, a physicist, that you know how this machine works? So the same thing is over here. What do you know? No, Karach is a modern man. What do you mean I don't know? I think on my own. I would say maybe. It's no get to us also. We, I don't know, I feel it in myself that I'm always busy. I don't know if everybody's like that. But I feel in myself that I'm always busy measuring myself. Did I stag? Did I grow enough in Torah? Did I succeed enough? Did I reach the level of the Mutzlochim in the mirror? Or am I behind? And only those in the mirror who knew how to yell and scream and argue and learning, they're the ones, those that knew how to ask in the middle of Rav Nochum Shir, they're the Chashu and I'm nothing. Who said, who said it? So that's again, it's the same problem. It's, it's a Korach problem, these, all these thoughts. But you're, you're, you're here, who said Bechal that you're here to be something? To be a Damit Chochem, to be a Lamden, to be, to be great. Who said, 
maybe you're here to worship Hashem. As long as you sit in front of a Gemara and you read, so maybe maybe that's enough. Or I don't know what. Or maybe the, this kind of a learning is what you're supposed to do. Start thinking, and did I stag enough? Did I reach higher, high enough levels? Maybe that's a Korach problem. Let's be misgabber and let's not think this. So let's just be mekabo malchus shemayim. And don't think it brings to Atzvet. I would say just the opposite. It brings to the greatest simcha. To just doing for Hashem. Just imagine. Hashem is so happy. Yismach Hashem b'masov. He's so happy we brought him five minutes of Gemara Rashi and Toshis. Hashem is so happy with us. It says in Pazay Kimidei Dabri Bo, Zohar as Karen Od. And Rashi explains from Chazal Midei Dabri Bo, when I talk Divrei Torah, Hashem talks through us Divrei Torah. So Zohar as Karen Od, I remember them. Okay, Homo may I love the love Hashem has for us when it becomes a midday dabri, but when we talk the Reiter, it's so strong, it's like as if a muscle that a person that his stomach turns over from, from uh, strong feelings that he has in him. And on that the Bozik says, Rachem HaRachamenon Um Hashem. Because of it's going to happen, we're going to see it. Because Hashem, we should be zocher. It should be very soon. Amen v'amen. Thank you, Rabbi Kaplan.